What's up guys? In this short tutorial I will show you how to lower your VRAM usage in Black Ops 4. This is especially useful for systems with a low to mid end GPU. You may have noticed your VRAM consumption being almost maxed out by the game. This is due to the game's horrible memory management. That's why we will first of all lower the amount of programs running in the background, which could use up some of your graphics memory. Open up your task manager and here you can end processes which you know won't break your operating system. On the Auto Starts tab you can also deactivate some programs which always start when your system boots. Next, to see your VRAM usage in game, open up your game settings, navigate to the Interface tab and here on Telemetry you can select to show your VRAM usage on the top left of your screen. When this is done, go to the Graphics tab to lower your render resolution. You can see that your VRAM usage is lowering when you lower this slider, but the visual quality of the game will suffer too. Lower this to whatever your GPU can handle. But if you're watching this video then I guess you should put it to 50 and test it out. You can always revert the changes back if you want later. Next, set a custom frame rate limit. This should be set to your monitor's refresh rate, to reduce the amount of stress on your GPU. If you don't know your monitor's refresh rate, then it's probably 60. Further down, enable the preload shader setting. Set your textures to low or medium and most importantly, if you don't really care about shaders, then turn them off completely. This might make the biggest difference. You can also disable all of your post-processing effects to improve the overall performance of the game on your system. Don't forget to apply the changes. And as always, make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date. As the game is still quite new, there are scheduled patches to improve the memory management for PC users. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.